Well, hello, good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you for attending this session. Um, I hope it is useful for everyone watching. Um, welcome, George, uh, to the session. Um, for people who don't know George, uh, he's one of our uh, product specialists for Zendesk. George. Thanks, Hideki. Um, morning, everyone. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Great. Um, we want to be we want to give you a very brief uh, presentation on what are the latest uh, things that we're seeing uh, on the product on Zendesk that are being quite impactful on customers. Um, so we prepared this presentation. Hopefully, it's going to last under 30 minutes. Um, so what are we going to see today? We're going to talk about uh, Zendesk Support Suite, um, what the improvements they are uh, making on, on the new agent workspace. Um, Explore Enterprise, you know, is the analytics tool for uh, for the solution. Uh, Zen is Sunshine and Sunshine Conversations, how we're going, we're seeing this is being leveraged by customers. And um, a Clint, which is uh, about robotic process automation and making the most out of uh, this uh, trending technology, um, along with artificial intelligence. Um, let's start with, you know, the product that we know best and that most of our customers are using and loving. Um, there's a lot of enhancements happening here. Um, can George, can you tell us a little bit what the concept is uh, behind the new agent workspace? Yeah, absolutely. So as we know, Zendesk offers a great omni-channel experience for end users. So whether that's chat, real-time experience through WhatsApp, as we'll see later. But what they really focused on here is making the interface omni-channel for the agent. So as you can see, we're actually giving the agent the opportunity to have multiple chats or tickets ongoing. So we could have a telephone uh, call or a wrap up call, um, unifying our uh, messaging all in one place. They've also really emphasized the fact that we could begin to understand our customers by pulling things through to the same interface. So really understand notes, have some more contextual understanding of who we're speaking to, and really have that richer view of each of our customers that we speak to. Um, they've also introduced something really cool feature about understanding previous interactions. So again, giving us a bit more of a chronological visibility about previous events, previous conversations, and it really helps the customer to prevent them to, from repeating themselves, which is a really good opportunity for agents. And as you can see here, just again focusing on the right, you can see the interactions we can have uh, with different chats or where the customer has been in their life cycle before contacting us. On the unified conversations aspect, we can now have a centralized place to, for our agents to select if they're online or away. So we can directly set the status from within the ticket interface, keeping them within the same view. So if they are taking a break or they finish for the day, they can easily navigate the status. And it also gives them visibility of what the status of their customer is. So if a customer is having a chat and maybe they've gone away and a customer has other priorities, the agent can quickly see that and maybe send a proactive message, really understand if the customer is still available, if they still need support, or how they can best help their customers as well. Uh, through the new agent workspace, what they've also offered is the opportunity to choose how agents want to respond to their customers. What we're seeing at the moment is a great trend in the use of WhatsApp for business. WhatsApp, I'm sure 99% of us watching the call today will understand how to use WhatsApp. So having that connection with brands, with businesses, really opens up a new door of communications, and therefore it enables the agents to be able to select which channel they'd like to use, whether that's call, uh, telephony, um, or even email on WhatsApp, of course, and how it brings a richer context. Yeah, so the overall concept is that all communications can be handled from one single interface, um, and the information is readily available um, for, for the user, right? Even from a transactional point of view, um, or a chronological point of view, right? There's some improvements also on Zendesk Explore. Um, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what's uh, changing here? Yeah, absolutely. So Zendesk Explore is something that Zendesk as well have been really focusing on over the last 18 to 24 months, I suppose. And it's really providing a full understanding of the data that we're receiving within our, our Zendesk support. So customer experience is, of course, designed heavily on how the customer feels, but you can really emphasize and change that by using the correct data. So you, they're now emphasizing or using uh, live dashboards that you can see on the screen here. So understanding how many chats we have, talk, how many tickets we have open. And it's making it nice and contextual for the managers who can then share that with the senior team, but also making sure that agents know what channel they need to be available on and when, if we can see trends at certain times of the day, so we can arrange lunch times and it just helps people arrange their schedules. Yeah, it's all about understanding 
how to build the right capacity to deliver the right service at the right times of the day, at the right days of the week, et cetera, et cetera. Also understanding which channels are becoming, um, a, a, you know, a, becoming more useful for customers. Um, many customers, uh, many companies have customers that require different, different type of channels for different type of services. Um, so understanding the fluctuation of these channels uh, helps the business organize, organize themselves for uh, better capacity. You know? um, also, when it comes down to uh, sharing this information, right? There is there's another enhancement. Yeah, absolutely. So of course, it's one thing being able to create the reports, which is, which is most important for the managers or even the agents, but it's about providing that data to the senior stakeholders who can make business decisions or who are in, um, influencing other decision making. So if we, we know that customer experience lasts the whole journey, so from marketing through to sales uh, and then for support, and we need to understand our data. So we want to share that outside of the Zendesk uh, com uh, community. Great. Um, we also wanted to touch base on uh, Zendesk Sunshine. Uh, Sunshine is a project, um, is a feature set uh, of the platform that is being developed uh, for uh, some time right now. But we're now seeing the uh, practical applications of it. And it's really giving a lot of power to the Zendesk platform, moving it more towards a more complete uh, a CRM type of approach, right? Um, Zendesk uh, Sunshine, in principle, um, is an application that helps you a, a add more capabilities and more data, a custom data, um, a, into into the platform. So this is combined with the um, a agent workspace, where the agent is going to have to a, be able, is going to have more information to be able to deliver their their work, right? So this this platform has three types of uh, components. Uh, events, profiles, and objects. This means that you can see events in a chronological order. You can see profiles of customers based on their behavior, their segmentation. So you can attend to those customers in, a, uh, in different ways if you have tiers. Um, and objects, which is, you know, for example, orders, uh, purchase orders, uh, invoices, uh, anything that is related to a more transactional uh, perspective. And you can have those that are created from within Zendesk, but you can also bring objects from other businesses, other business applications into Zendesk, right? Um, can you can you tell us a little bit how this works? Yeah, of course. So as you can see on the screen here, we're just having a look at the profile, so we can understand a bit more who we're speaking to. We might have their Twitter handle, their social media information, um, and really just understanding a bit more about them as, a, as an end user. We can see the inter, uh, interactions. We can understand when the payment was made potentially, when the article was viewed, or when the ship, uh, shipment was delayed for whatever reason. And it, as Hideki was mentioning, it really helps to give the agent an understanding as to why the customer might be contacting us before even having that communication, which is a great stepping uh, starting point. As you can see, through the different profiles, you can understand the relevant information to help the agent understand who they're speaking to. We can understand the events, as I mentioned about, is it a purchase, is it an issue, is it a ticket, or maybe just a communication? And that really then helps us understand how we can best treat them. And of course, most importantly, we want to understand what they're contacting us about. So is it about a, a recent order, a, um, a purchase order, a product, all those sorts of things. And it's all within the same screen that the agent hasn't got to go to a back-end system, a database. It's held within the, the same view and they can really help provide support for the customer. Yeah, and this is a capability that takes, goes much farther than the Zendesk apps. The functionality that you can add on the Zendesk app to show the information is quite limited. You know, the, the ability, the SDK behind this, uh, this uh, behind Sunshine allows you to create very, very customizable uh, uh, data objects. The result of that is the agent doesn't have to go into another application to find the information. Um, so first, the information is uh, uh, accurate, is up to date, is immediately available. So both the user experience internally is way more seamless, but you're able to deliver a more effective uh, uh, service to, to customers, right? Uh, we're seeing this being used more and more. Um, it's a very, very, uh, uh, useful feature, uh, but it takes some technical work to put it together, right? Then there is the, the, the second level of Sunshine, uh, Sunshine Conversations, which is a Zendesk effort to improve, to focus more 
not only on the ticketing element of the software, but on the customer experience. So it's more customer experience uh, uh, focus. And the, the, the concept behind sanctioned conversations is that, you know, your customers don't need to know what software you're using, right? And what is your internal process to solve uh, their, their, uh, their requests? So the best way to do that is for the companies and brands to enable customers to contact them through the most common messaging platforms that everybody is using on their mobile phones. Be it uh, WhatsApp, uh, Twitter, Line, um, uh, Facebook Messenger, which now all can be channeled through Sunshine Conversations, the platform, the API platform, and then pushed into this and this uh, uh, agent workspace uh, just as another channel, right? So this is uh, quite seamless. Um, this trend is actually sp specifically for B2C, is picking up a lot of momentum, and we're seeing major brands uh, incorporate this. It's very fast to do, uh, and the results are, uh, you know, are tangible in the customer experience. There's some improvements in this um, uh, uh, aspect. Uh, uh, great. You know, yeah. Uh, just yeah, absolutely. So, well, as mentioned, the the WhatsApp is a is, is an environment that all of us understand how that works, but also Apple Apple Business Chat and Google Business Messaging, also part of that whole conversation offering the Sunshine Conversations, but also how the world is working at the moment, offering different channels for customers where and when they want to contact us, and making us as most uh, available as much as possible as well. Yeah. So for in order to to um, make the most out of this technology, um, uh, obviously we gotta use the the Ascension Conversations platform. But this for for uh, to connect with WhatsApp, um, WhatsApp has a lot of uh, WhatsApp for Business, the platform that we gotta use, has a lot of regulations and rules, right? So one of the efforts uh, Zendesk is doing is uh, trying to facilitate the, uh, the implementation of uh, these tools, right? So the in important thing to understand here uh, is that uh, this integration is not only for text messaging. You can use it for many other things, um, right, George? Correct, yeah, as, as Adek is mentioning, that it's one thing just being able to provide a, a solution for our customers, but why not go that one step further in a world where digital is taking over and um, enable the customer to be proactive in what they're looking for. So do they need to make an appointment? Can we provide them that booking software to do so? If they have, if they want to view images, we don't want to remove the agent from doing something more complex or a lot more time consuming. These are the types of tasks that we want our customers to, to maneuver for themselves. And we can really provide them the tools to do that through Sunshine Conversations and allowing them to go that one step further. So the, the, the context here is that it's not the self-service element. It's not just about chatting with an agent on the back. It's about delivering a full transactional uh, cycle. If uh, you want to make a purchase, a reservation, change a purchase of a reservation, inquire about the status of something. And uh, something that we're seeing that is becoming extremely um, uh, demanded now is to automate these processes. So to make it as, as automated as possible and this is what we're going to see in the next uh, in, in the in the next uh, uh, part of the presentation where we talk about how we're using robotic process automation to even enhance this uh, even further right um, but in in terms of um, sanction conversations there's a few enhancements as well um, George yeah absolutely so of course as you mentioned it's being uh, allowing us to be proactive in our communications to customers in, in, a, in a modern age in a modern world so if we want to provide them with an update maybe on a ticket number maybe provide them with a qr code that when they're going to an event or maybe even onboarding to a specific transport we can provide them with the tools to do that without having to wait for a response maybe traditionally through email or just waiting for an agent to do that within the whatsapp for business space of course um as Hideki's mentioned, they've enabled us to be able to create templates, which can be uh, set parameters and, of course, allow us to set different languages, which really helps us tailor that experience to who we're speaking to uh, and really making sure that we're not creating a one size fits all. We're really making, we're being flexible for, for all of our customers. So in, in that sense, what we're trying to um, Understand, help customers understand is that the integration with messaging platforms goes way beyond just messaging. There is a, 
you can deliver full transactions uh, where the uh, the integration with with uh, WhatsApp is uh, enabling the customer to self service. And this is where we bring in um, this uh, this tool, uh, Clint, that is a conversational agent, and we call it it's called conversational because it uses natural language. But behind it is a robotic process automation, machine learning, and AI. And it integrates the Zendesk platform and uh, in Sunshine Conversations to be able to guide the process with uh, customers, right? So what's happening now is that very often we can identify many of the transactions that a customer service agents deliver uh, are repeated, right? They, they are the same request over and over and over. And some of them can be uh, solved by customers by using the, the self-service uh, uh, part of the application guide. Uh, but some of it may require a Q&A between the customer and the agent. When that happens, um, we can actually automate a lot of this process uh, through this platform called Clint. Um, according to Gartner, you know, robotic process automation is now replacing the cost of uh, staff just because it can be way more accurate, uh, faster, and you can interact with customers uh, through uh, platforms like uh, Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp, um, where no phone conversa conversation is required, right? And the way the platform works is that, um, you know, uh, in the front end, uh, you have the user who may use any channel of communication with the business. And what, um, the, the, let's say, for instance, the customer may be asking about, uh, you know, I I made a purchase. Um, I want to know the status of the purchase, or I want to cancel it, or um, you know, I I, I want to add more products onto this purchase. So that request will then come into Clint, which will use Sunshine Conversations to interact with with the um, with the with the customer on the other end, translate the information, and integrate with the back office systems to collect the information and deliver it back to the customer. It uses the Amazon AI engines to uh, recognize the request um, by uh, using the natural language uh, processing application. Um, it also identifies the sentiment of the, of the request. So it can uh, recognize if the customer is upset, is neutral, is happy, is thankful, Etc., and then provide a transactional response like, here's your order. Uh, would you like to change it? Would you like to add anything, remove anything, etc., etc.? So, the way it works is when we integrate the different elements of the application, uh, we can channel anything that uh, comes through any channel uh, that can that may require a process, um, a process to be carried out, right? And the, the thing here is that it not only integrates with uh, Zendesk, but it also integrates with your most common uh, business applications, like your ERPs, your CRMs, uh, your e-commerce. But on the back, it's actually using AI and machine learning to uh, collect the information, understand the request, under understand the sentiment, create the request to the back office system, go collect the information, bring it back, put it into a format that the customer can read and understand in their mobile phone and push it through Zendesk uh, Sunshine. Um, in that way, you're delivering a full cycle with very little custom, uh, uh, human interaction. And if you do need human interaction, then you can uh, escalate that request to, to, uh, to the customer, right? And you can use this not only for customer service, you can use it for uh, marketing purposes, uh, sales processes for, uh, you know, customers are buying online and they have questions about products or they, they want to have a guided process. Uh, in, in customer service, particularly, is a very good tool because you already have the customer's information, uh, you already have the tr transactions that you have to service, etc. Um, for example, if you have to validate uh, the customer information before the customer accesses to its account, uh, you can you can um, get the platform to ask questions like, uh, give me your the three digits of your password, um, your date of birth, your address, and then compare against 
the back office systems and grant access to requests. So it's way more intelligent than just uh, chatting, right? I hope this has been useful um, for customers uh, here in the UK. Uh, Tom Jeans is always available to, to have a chat. I'm sure George can always jump into the calls as well. Um, uh, we just wanted to give you a very brief um, overview of what we are seeing is very, very practical and useful on, on uh, Zendesk for our customers. Um, and hopefully, you know, we can get to engage. Feel free to uh, contact us at any time. Okay. Thank you very much, George, and thank you everybody for the time. Uh, we'll be talking soon.